What is going on guys, this is Blaine Burns Red, and today I'm bringing you a squad builder, which is a response to the sweat and pace I have been facing lately in Ultimate Team. I wanted to build a front six and even the back four with some of the slowest rare players you can find in Ultimate Team. I wanted to bring myself kind of back to the basics of FIFA, get the passing down, get some good open shots. But as you'll see later in the highlights, I am just unable to defend against the speed that comes along with Ultimate Team. Up top, we have Francisco Totti of Roma. He has 32 pace. But along with that, he has 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot, 85 shooting, 89 passing, 85 dribbling. He has something like 92 shot power, 94 finishing. So you will see on the highlights later that when he gets an open shot, he tends to finish it. Paired up with him, we have Luca Tony in form. And guys, I will advise you to never play with this card. It was one of the worst players I've ever played with. The 49 pace, he has decent acceleration, but he has like 40 sprint speed. But his agility is something that I think I could do better at in a professional setting. And his shooting isn't that good either. He's only really good at um, heading the ball. He can't pass. He doesn't have four-star skills. And he feel, feels like a center back when he's on the ball. It's really, really bad. The first central attacking midfielder, we have Bastian Schweinsteiger. He has 62 pace, but he has decent shooting, really good passing, and good dribbling as well. He tended to be the player that I like to go up the wing with, just because in the 4-2-2-2 formation, your two cams tend to get out wide, but I couldn't really do anything because of his lack of pace. At the other cam, we have Tony Cruz. Really good free kicks. I, I should mention everyone on this team has amazing free kicks. It was really hard to choose. Tati, I, like I said, I think he has 94 shot power, and he was just amazing. But getting back to Cruz here, 52 pace, 82 shooting, 85 passing, 5-star weak foot. He was the pick just to get Schweinsteiger on 9-chem uh, along with Cruz. The first center defensive mid, we have Javi Martinez. He has decent passing. But his, his shooting and pace is, is really, are really, really poor, especially his shooting. I tend to take a lot of long shots, and everything was just right at the keeper or off target. The other center defensive mid we had in form, Sergio Busquets. I'm not sure why he got this in form, but as you'll see on the right side of the defense, it helps out with Kem. Left back, we have Fuchs. Amazing free kick ability. Decent pace, good defending. First center back. We have, I think, Max Homos. I hope. Mats Homos. Dang. Whenever I watch him on Gold TV, I always thought it was Max Homos. All right. Hummels. 65 pace, 85 defending, 75 passing, 84 heading. He is pretty much a rock in the center of defense. Paired up with him, we have Carlos Puyo. 55 pace, but amazing defending, heading. And I should mention that Busquets and Puyo gobble up any loose balls they are great tacklers for on the ball tackles at right back we have inform adriano he brings some actual pace and he seemed like the only player who had good on the ball skills holding left trigger making those turns and at goalkeeper we have manuel neuer just to get max hummels and on nine chem neuer was good uh, but the, the goals I tend to give up against sweaty teams, even Neuer, if, if I had Tim Howard in there, if I had Bill Hamid in there, no one's going to stop it because they're just from inside the box, from kids doing overhead through balls or quick give and goes that Puyo and Hummels cannot catch up to. So here's the team, guys. A decent hybrid, I thought, and now I am going to bring you some highlights. So the first team we face, not a real threat other than the formation being a 3-5-2 and having Benitez up top. I knew the only way I was going to score with this team that I built was to maintain possession, have players that had decent ball control. Obviously, Luca Toni didn't fit that standard. But right here, we do some skills and we get a penalty, which I thought was a very soft call. Schweinsteiger just went down. But whatever, I'll take anything I can get with this team. And Tati is going to finish. He is not going to be stopped from 12 yards with 94 shot power. And I assume he has above 90 penalties as well. 
the team seemed just really difficult to create chances with. But as you'll see here, the defending, some of the goals I let up with this team were just terrible. I'll let this one play out. What, what, what is that? I think his striker did get the final touch. It obviously wasn't an own goal or deflected. But Neuer doesn't save it and it just trickles in the net. And that seemed to be the story of how every goal I would let up would come to be. It was really frustrating. So we end up going to a penalty shootout. I cannot get around his 3-5-2 for the life of me. It is really overpowered this year. And Tati finishes the first one. And as you can guys see, there's a lot of lag in this game as well. Right here, I dive the right way. Oh, and he misses it. Perfect. He saved one of mine, but he knew that the lag was getting to be a little much, so he just started putting him right down the middle, and I saved another one. So he had to score this. He knew that I was going to stay in the middle, so he had to try and put it in the corner, and he blows it over the net. So now we are in the quarterfinals, and I was really scared with this team. Neymar, Wellington, Danino, I think. David Luiz, Diago Silva, and Dede. I was not going to get around that back line, and it's in a 3-5-2 again. Cannot stand it. But I get a spell of possession here, and I will let this play out for you guys because I this is the only way I was going to score, and I just think it's rather beautiful. Take the shot. Top shelf where Mama hides the cookies from Javi Martinez. I think he has like 50 in the 50s, his shooting attributes, or the 60s, but that was just outside the box. And right here, the kid was getting frustrated, and uh, hey, red card, ref, ref, red card, red card, carta roja. So now he only has Dede and Thiago Silva. Still a pretty good matchup, but not when my wingers get out wide, even on defensive. And Bastian Schweinsteiger making the far post run here. He will always finish that. At 2-0, I was enjoying myself finally for the first time with this team. I tended to get matched up with, play, with just laggy games. I don't know why. I don't know if it was just that they saw how bad my team was, so I got connected with some kid in Venezuela. Luca Tony with the volleyed finish there. I didn't expect that at all. He has horrible shooting, but he got it around. I think he had Diego Lopez in that. I'm not sure who he had. I don't remember. Good control. <coughs> Excuse me. From the volley. To make it 3-0. We get another chance here, and uh, Luca Tony will finish it. Near post, overpowered, but when you're using Luca Toni, I will take whatever I can get. Had to celebrate the goal 4-0 on a guy who obviously cared about that team. Spent a lot on it. Gets a red card in the 15th minute or so, and then I just destroy him. And now we're in the semifinals. Guys, this team, five-man back line. Team of the year, Casillas, Marcelo, Danny Alves, Falcao. He had Ronaldo and Messi on the bench. The only way I was going to win this game is with possession. And I did not do that. Missed that tackle there. Ramirez puts it in the top of the net. Far corner. It was very frustrating. This guy actually was pretty good. Decent on the ball skills. Knew how to do skills. And right here, what the hell is my center back doing? I hate that. That always happens. The striker just continues his run and just takes the ball off your center back. But we get lucky here. We get a goal back to make it 2-1. And I wasn't expecting this. It was pretty sweaty. But Luca Toni has 32 pace. He probably should have made that tackle. Team of the year, Casillas lets in that goal. I'm feeling a little better at this point. But I knew it was going to be a tough climb. I was hoping to maybe bring it to extra time and penalties. We, Luca Toni gets a shot here that probably should have gone in if it was anyone but Team of the year, Casillas. We get a corner. And he does something that a lot of people do and that I always exploit. He sends the keeper out, and I just put a header right down the middle where your keeper would have been and would have saved it. I don't understand why kids do it, but they do it. It might work a little bit of the time, but uh, yeah. And now he just scored again. So that's how the game would end, I believe. It is 3-2. We didn't make it to the finals. We lost in the semifinals to a kid with a five-man back line and a probably $2-$3 million team. 
it was rough. I suggest that you guys build this just to get you back to basics with passing, normal passing, lob passing, skill moves, just to help you get away from the sweatiness. But I thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you later.